All right, so let's take a look at this one. So whenever we're given some of this, uh, some of this information, like void ratios, relative density, um, and specific gravity, your mind should always go back to to these weight volume relationships. Okay, so section three point eight point three of the PE Civil Handbook. It's going to be a good resource for us. And what information are we given? Well, we're given what our Emax is. We're given what our Emin is. We're given our specific gravity. And we're given our relative uh, density. Okay, D sub R which is the relationship between um, our different void ratios. And we want to know what is our saturated unit weight. Well, we could look in section 3.8.3 and find an equation that would help us solve for our saturated unit weight. And maybe one of them comes down to the weight of our solids plus the weight of our water over the volume of our solids plus the volume, whoops, the volume of our water. So that that's great, but we don't have that information. We don't have directly, we don't have the weight of our solids or the weight of our water in our sample. But at the same time, we we kind of do. All right, we can use some of the information of our specific gravity um, to determine what the weight of our solids are. We also know, or could figure out with our relative density, we can figure out what our actual voids are in our sample. And if we're looking at a saturated unit weight, we know that we have voids and our voids are completely filled with water. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to figure out what's our void ratio. 